I'm meteorologist Brianna Mowry and we're continuing to keep an eye on Hurricane Helene as it nears impact or nears landfall along the Florida Panhandle here in the Midlands. We are still seeing those impacts and we're going to continue to see those impacts overnight tonight into our Friday morning. Heavy rainfall and flooding are expected to continue throughout the morning tomorrow. Gusty winds. We're seeing some calmer winds right now, but those winds are going to pick up tonight and it's going to stay pretty gusty through the overnight hours and into early Friday and that could lead to some power out that could lead to a lot of power outages and down trees. We also have that tornado threat across the Midlands, but right now here is where we're seeing Helene still in the Gulf hasn't made landfall yet, but it has now or it's been upgraded to a category four hurricane, so very strong intensifying out there. We will see it make it landfall uh, late tonight and it will then travel through central Georgia and don't get too caught up on where that exact path is. We're going to still see plenty of those impacts across the Midlands. So while the center of that track may be far to our west, we are still going to get those high winds and heavy rain. We will then see improvement once we get into the day on Friday. Right now, here's what things are looking like. We're seeing a little break in that rainfall. We are seeing some more rainfall building though to our south, and that could bring some more of those heavier uh, downpours as we head into the evening tonight. And then we will see another little break in that rain before uh, we see that main system moving through. Tropical storm warning for the entire state is still in place and that continues uh, throughout tonight into tomorrow with those winds still expected to be at high speeds. Tornado watch until nine o'clock. That's likely to get extended and expanded to include more of the PD and the Grand Strand. So something to uh, pay attention to. We will keep you updated online uh, when we get that update. Flood watch until tomorrow afternoon. That includes a lot of the state as well and a lot of the Midlands and that's until tomorrow afternoon. For our forecast, we will see a little bit of a break in the rain continuing, but those winds begin to pick up late tonight. We can see those winds swirling around that system, and that's going to be where we see those very high wind speeds, especially as we head into tomorrow morning. We then see it traveling through Georgia. Those wind speeds picking up and getting faster. Heavy rainfall as well. We're seeing lots of red, orange, even pink for our forecast, and that's where that heaviest rainfall is going to set up. And we are going to see that pushing through the uh, upstate before it pushes off to the north and we will see clear skies by Friday. Still very windy on Friday morning. The rain moves out. We could even see some sunshine by Friday uh, midday, but the wind's going to be pretty breezy even into Friday evening, maybe even into Saturday morning. We could see some pretty breezy conditions, but the high wind gusts will be gone by the weekend. So look at a closer look at South Carolina. We are going to see the clouds sticking around. We're going to be cloudy from here on out. We are going to see those winds picking up as well, and those wind speeds are going to pick up through the overnight hours. This is that next uh, round of rain. We're going to see some very heavy rain through the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. It's best to stay home if possible with rain like this. We've already seen a lot of flooding issues today, and that's before we've even seen Helene make landfall. We are going to continue to see those winds picking up. The direction will change. They will shift from coming out of the south as Helene pushes to the north, and then we will again see that sunshine by the afternoon hours on uh, Friday. Here's rainfall totals we've seen so far over the last 24 hours. Most of the Midlands have seen a, between two and three inches, but those brighter colors are where we've seen those heavier rainfall bands setting up, and that's where we've seen over eight inches of rain, and that's where we've gotten most of our flooding issues. But everyone has the potential to see more flooding, more heavy rain, and heavy wind speeds and more heavy rain bands like the ones we've seen today are likely to set up. Right now, winds not too bad. We are starting to see things picking up as far as winds go. Right now, they are moving in from the east. Looking ahead at the excessive rainfall outlook, we are at a high risk for some flash flooding. A lot of the Midlands in that red and yellow. So that is more flash flooding is likely as we see that heavy rainfall moving in to start our early Friday morning. And that will 
mostly move out by Friday. The upstate getting still getting some flooding concerns, but the Midlands will be OK by Friday, Saturday. Everyone seeing that flood threat moving away from us. The wind forecast, we're already seeing things beginning to pick up as far as winds go out of the east right now. And we will continue to see those wind speeds picking up. This is by midnight tonight. We're seeing gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. Those winds beginning to change direction a little bit more out of the southeast. We will then see those winds slowly shifting again as Helene gets closer and closer. This is th through the overnight hours, 4 a.m. We were getting to see that center of rotation. And then we're looking those wind speeds getting up into the 70s even the 80s in some places to our west. So uh, expect lots of power outages, expect trees and power lines to come out. Prepare to lose power, have your flashlights, have your batteries ready and have multiple ways to get weather alerts with that tornado threat in place. And with it being dark, you can't see them coming. And with rain in the roadways, you can't see that either. So it's best to stay home again, especially if you have down trees. Those could be hard to see or power lines could be hard to see in the dark. Then we get into Friday afternoon. Those winds still pretty breezy, but we're getting to calm down that severe weather threat into the day or tonight into tomorrow morning. This is where we have that highest threat for tornadoes in that tan color, and then it gets a little lower as we head into most of the Midlands in that yellow color, but we still have that threat for tornadoes as we go into the overnight hours and into Friday. We will see things getting better, especially into the afternoon Friday. That severe weather threat will shift to our northeast and then by Saturday, everyone in the clear for severe weather. Re, uh, recapping everything, we are going to see these impacts now through Friday morning and those impacts high wind, heavy rainfall and plan for those power outages. Have the flashlights, have the batteries and it's just best to stay off those roadways, especially now that it's dark outside. You can't see the water in the roads. You can't see if uh, it's flooded or washed out. You can't see if there's any down trees or power lines, so it's just not going to be safe to be out tonight. And here are those current conditions for Helene. Now a category four hurricane. This is our latest eight o'clock advisory. 130 mile per hour winds gusting to 155 miles per hour. Pressure down to 942 millibars, so it is gaining strength. It has not made a landfall yet, but it is getting close to that. And as always, you can download your WLTX app to get the latest. We send out those notifications and that home page leads you to everything you need to know as we get through the next several hours as Hurricane Helene makes its impact. But you can also follow us along with social media as well for those latest updates. And if you are going to be out tonight and you have to be, stay safe, have your uh, plan in place, prepare for power outages, and keep, uh, keep checking in for those latest updates on our website and app.